Well, thank you for sitting down and for an interview. Uh, first of all, what is your name? Katie Staples. Awesome. Um, so what was your experience with the ghost in, on campus? So the whole time that I've been teaching here, I've been working in this building. Um, over there in 401 is where I was for most of the time. And basically when I first started working here, everyone told me ghost stories about how these doors would open and close on their own when people were in the 400 building and how they would um, hear noises and like things slamming around and there's actually a um, story that is told about someone having killed themselves in this building a long time ago and so everyone thinks that whoever that person is um, is currently haunting this building have you ever had like any like personal like in your classroom at all not in my classroom i have not like heard or seen anything but i've definitely felt something up here in this in the 401 nice um do you have any history of paranormal experiences outside of campus um i actually have a book in my library at my house that keeps flying off the shelf and i don't know why so I'm thinking it's maybe a ghost lovely has this experience changed your opinion on certain areas of the school Definitely. Um, I, I definitely think that the older buildings on campus have some kind of something going on, some kind of paranormal something. Nice. Well, first of all, what is your name? Mr. Quincy Sims. What was your experience with paranormal? My paranormal experience was uh, being here late at night, seeing the 400 building lights turn on when nobody's in them. Um, that was pretty scary. The, the mist that used to move across the football field, also pretty creepy. Has anything like that event happened like recently or since? Um. I think I was here about a couple months ago, and I walked by the 400 building, a light went on upstairs, and I was like, oh, my. And I kind of looked around to see if anyone was in there. Nobody was in there. What is your attitude towards uh, paranor paranormal and like scientifically unexplainable events? Well, I used to be a big believer in, in ghosts, and I still kind of believe, but I, I wonder why none of them have ever been captured clearly on film at this point considering everybody has a high definition camera attached to them but you never know has As, any oh, sorry. okay <laughs> shakespeare once said there are more things in heaven and earth that are dreamt up in your philosophies as has your experiences on campus like uh changed your viewpoint on the paranormal a little bit there's definitely something out there that's uh that's different Uh, first of all, what is your name? My name is Miss Simonis. Uh, what was your experience with the paranormal activity? So, before COVID, the DRC used to be open after school until 6 p.m. and they would have teachers stay in there to, you know, keep an eye on kids. Um, and one of the jobs was after everybody left, you would have to close the DRC, set the alarm, and then go downstairs, lock the door, and then leave. The way the DRC is set up, you have the two front doors that open into the DRC, and then you have stairs leading down in the back of the DRC to the faculty lounge. And um, it's an old building, right? Like you hear creaks and noises and things, you don't really think too much about it. But the worst part is, because the light switch is right by the front door, and you have to walk to the back door down the stairs, when you're closing up, you have to do that in pitch black. So one night, I was sitting there at the computer. Everybody had left. It was around 6 p.m., dark outside. I was the last one in the building. And I heard what sounded like somebody walking up the stairs to the DRC on those back stairs. And I turned around to see who it was and nobody was there. And I was like, okay, a little weird. That's my cue to go home. So flipped the lights off, locked the door, pitch black. I'm walking across the DRC towards the back stairs to leave. 
and I heard what sounded again like footsteps, somebody walking up the stairs towards me. So I pulled up my phone, turned my flashlight on. Again, nobody there. I'm a little freaked out at this point. So I walked down the stairs, locked the door, turned the alarm on. The alarm is a motion sensor alarm. So if anybody's in the DRC still, it goes off. I'm leaving and I hear above me in the DRC, on the DRC floor, footsteps walking from one end of the DRC all the way to the other end. And the alarm did not go off. I know for a fact I was the only one in there. I cannot explain what that was. I called my mom so I wasn't alone and immediately got in my car and left. Wow. Well, first of all, uh, what is your name? I'm John McDonald, the uh, daytime security and maintenance for Damien High School. Uh, what was your experience of like a paranormal events or like a strange feelings around campus? Yeah, I can't say they're really paranormal events. Uh, it's more like a positive energy. Uh, the 100 building, the 400 building, and Spartan Hall. Walking through those buildings, you feel a, a youthful, positive energy. It's almost like uh, the souls, young souls of past students are still roaming through the halls. Uh, it's not a scary feeling, it's just a positive energy. Uh, what is your attitude towards paranormal and scientifically unexplainable events? I accept it. I, I don't really believe in angry spirits. If there are, I'm not afraid of them. Has the events on campus uh, contribute to that attitude? Yeah, I, I would say so. It's just, I have a positive feeling, if not all the time, but I get that same feeling when I'm walking through these halls at night or in the morning. Also, do you have any like history with paranormal like events like happening around you or do you? None that I can really say 